Hi everyone, I'm Anna. This is my channel Heart and Hobby. I'm so happy to have you here today because I'm going to be revealing my February design for my bullet journal for 2022. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. This is so much fun. I will put a link below. I have done a January setup and a general setup for the bullet journal. This week I'm going to be focusing on my um, monthly spread as well as the spread at the beginning of my bullet journal which shows like the months at a glance. So if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button. I love it when you guys subscribe. It's so much fun. Right now I think I have like 23 followers which is not a lot but I love every single one of you and I thank you for following me. Um, I can't wait to show you all the fun things that I have done for February. I know I'm a little bit late and I apologize but it's gonna be super fun and let's get into it. So starting with my months at a glance, I am continuing along here with the February cake. So um, if you remember from my previous setup, what I did with my months at a glance was create the idea of each of the months kind of represented by a cake or a layered cake at the beginning of my bullet journal. So I have each of the cakes sitting on a unique stand. For this month, I did this kind of glass ball cake stand and I um, just kind of outlined it with my black Copic marker 0.3. I then took my Tombow marker 723 and kind of did the outline color of my cake because my theme for this, for this month is going to be macaroons, which are so delicious and light and pink and pastel colors so then I took a darker tumble marker um in pink and I just kind of put little dots along the side of the cake I didn't really wasn't sure how to decorate it so I just kind of went with it I actually am super far behind this month because I had some really unexpected and really sad news and so I wasn't really feeling it for a while and I had a hard time uploading some of my videos but I have gotten back into it and so I am working through the news that I got and just kind of taking it day by day. So I took my favorite uh, pen, which is a .4 and I wrote out the days of the month. I then took my gray Copic marker in eight in color 800 and again just copied the January layout. I, um, every other line I drew out in that gray color and again that's just going to highlight some important days for me in February. I then decided that what I would do is add some macaroons to the top of the cake and I thought it was a really cute simple way to highlight what the theme was and it just added some fun decoration and I'm just drawing them out in pen here. I then took my Copic marker 723 and colored in two of the macaroons. I then decided to use a really cute purple shade, which was Tombow color 620, and a really, really cute little green shade, which was Tombow color 243. Again, I just wanted to kind of keep it pastel and cute and happy. And then I took um, a pink shade, and that was 761, and drew little hearts around, just to kind of keep it in theme of Valentine's in February. I then took my lightest shade that I had, which is... Um, uh, I think 761 again and the pink and I kind of colored in the bottom of the cake stand. I wanted to keep it really light and happy and Valentine's theme. Moving on to the cover page for February, again just using my Copic marker 0.3. As I mentioned, I've been kind of out of sorts so I wasn't really over overly motivated and um, was kind of lacking inspiration. So I really kept this really simple, but it is a nice example of how you can keep a page really simple and it can start, still turn out really cute and fun. So I took my lightest um, Tombow marker in pink, 761, and colored in macaroons. You can see here, I'm just kind of working with my eraser, making sure you can't see my initial pencil lines. I then took Tombow color, uh, 062 for yellow and did a little yellow macaroon behind. And then uh, to balance off that little trio, again, I went back and used my uh, Tombow marker 243, a little light green, just to create a really cute pastel grouping of macaroons at the bottom of the page. Yeah. 
So one of the macaroons I actually um, drew out with like a little ribbon on top, which I thought was kind of cute. And again, just wanted to keep like this February theme of um, dessert, but also Valentine's Day. I then drew the macaroon underneath it in the lightest pink color I have, which is 761. I then went back and just added some small highlights um, just to kind of around the edges of the macaroons just to kind of give them a little bit more definition. I thought they look a little bit lost um, in their spacing when it was just kind of the color on its own. And so I thought that added, added some nice um, detail. So then I went and started coloring in the um, top macaroons. Again, another little grouping of three. This bottom one was the lightest blue I have in my Tombow set, which is 451. I then used the purple again, which was 620. And again, this was so much fun. It was really easy, really simple to draw these. They turned out so cute and I'm really happy with the end result. I think that this is a really cute little dessert and I have personally never made macaroons, but they are delicious. They are one of my favorite things to eat. And maybe one day when I am a brave enough baker, I will make them. I'll let you know how they turn out. <laughs> Again, I'm just going back and kind of adding a little bit of detail with the pens just to um, highlight around the macaroon itself and give a little bit more detail. So then this top one, again, I did my lightest pink and just adding a little bit more detail here. So to finish it off, I thought that I would include some hearts. Again, Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day. I even saw a new thing today, which was called Paul in Times Day, Paul in Times Day for animals, which was really cute. I don't know what date that is, but that's really sweet. So I think it's really fun. I love that February. It's one of my favorite months in the year. I don't know if anyone else has a favorite month. If you do, comment below and let me know what your favorite month is. I just love February because it's still kind of nice weather outside. You get to celebrate love all month long. And it's just a nice time of year, I feel like. So moving on, I am now gonna show you my layout for February. Again, I keep it the same as January, it's very simple. If you didn't watch my January layout, please enjoy the February layout. Um, it's the same exact, um, just different colors. So you can see I do the same exact layout for my little calendar at the top. And again, I'm using my favorite little pen there in point four. And then below that, I do a quick little easy outline for any notes I have for that week. And then I put my tracker below that. I use a ruler just to make sure that my lines are like crisp and clean. If I'm really in a rush, sometimes I won't use a ruler and it's not always perfect, but I have done this so many times now that I've gotten pretty good at keeping them pretty much within like a relatively uh, clean look. So it's just a matter of practice and repetition. And again, just adding my tracker. I love my tracker. It really keeps me in line and makes me prioritize like what is important to me every single day. And it helps me refocus and make sure that if maybe I'm having like a bad day or something's going on, which I really was experiencing that last week, I really make sure that I practice every single day gratitude, my affirmations and prayer and making sure that I, I check that off and I'm really refocusing my mindset each day, which is really helpful. So now I'm moving on to the other side and this is where I create my cute little envelope for my goals. And so all I'm doing is drawing out this cute little envelope. I freestyle part of it and then I make it so that I can write all my goals. Then below that, I have my little tape on sticky note for my shopping list for the week. And this is where I just include um, stuff that like might be random, like batteries or light bulbs or things that I need to get from the store. I'm then using my Tombow color and it's lightest pink, 761. And I'm just drawing out the headers for the days of the week. I then go in and fill in some of the details on the um, notes, on the envelope and on that sticky note. And then taking my Copic marker 0.3, I write out January 31st to February 6th. Then taking my Copic marker 0.03, I write out the days of the week. So here is a quick flip through of the rest of the month of February. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial and a simple fun way to decorate your bullet journal. It doesn't have to be complicated for you to enjoy it.
journey. It is so much fun bullet journaling with you. I hope that you guys really enjoy these videos. I know I enjoy making them. I also enjoy showing you the little creations that I make each week in my bullet journal or each month in my bullet journal. And so I um, just want to thank you guys so much. If you're new here or you have any questions or you want to share the theme that you're doing, please comment below. I would love to have the opportunity and the chance to say hi to you. So I love you guys. Have a great week and I will talk to you soon.